Hola amigos, welcome to Cancun, Mexico. For the past week we've been staying here at the now Emerald Resort. Fully enjoying our stay. It's a little bit overcast today, but we're really looking forward to it. And we want to take you inside and show you a little bit around the resort, the pools, the restaurants, and everything that the now Emerald has to offer. Cancun is currently under the yellow traffic light restriction, so still have to uh, scan your temperature upon entry. Um, they do kind of loosely require masks in the lobby, so that's something to consider when coming, and they are running at about 80% capacity, and it feels like it. It is busy here. Here we have check-in just to the right off of the main entry. Got all of your concierges and Amstar representatives to schedule your return bookings. Um, there's a lobby bar here to the left. And a nice little terrace that we have utilized a lot to sit out and overlook the main pool. Down the stairs here, you have Scores Sports Bar. We have not been down here. They had a Super Bowl party on Sunday out by the main pool. So we haven't really had a need to go watch any sports, but they do have one for those who enjoy watching sports. Hi guys, if you are a smoker, I would highly suggest getting a carton of cigarette at Duty Free. If not, we they do have a selection of cigarettes and cigars um, that you can also pick up. Also got a shop like many resorts do so you can pick up anything you may have forgotten sunscreen shirts hats things like that but you are going to pay for it so try to plan ahead down here off the pool we've got tamarindo one of the many restaurants that the resort has it's the Mexican restaurant it, yeah it is the Mexican restaurant so this is where you would come or Mexican right off of the main pool and their hours normal hours are 6 p.m. to 11 and they do have a casual dress code so long shorts or capri pants sneakers tennis shoes and sandals are required ladies must wear a bathing suit wrap or cover-up no sleeveless shirts for men so something to consider make sure you bring that they do have some other resorts here that require pants um, and dress shoes but they seem to really be loose on that. So maybe something to plan for if you plan on hitting one of the nicer like French and Italian restaurants. Another thing. The chair game is strong yeah, the here. The style game is strong as you can see. So it is, uh, what time is it right now? It's like about 8.30 a.m. Yeah. and about half of the lower terrace chairs are already taken. Down the second level terrace, there is another pool and swim up bar. Um, somewhat of a weird arrangement because you can't actually get to the swim up bar from here. You have to get to it from the steps from the upper level. And uh, you kind of go through a waterfall, which they've got turned off right now, but um, that is the only swim up bar. Um, so not quite as convenient as some of the other resorts we've been to, but they do have a swim up bar and their pool service has been really good. Down here on the second lower level terrace, there is Barefoot Grill. It is the uh, kind of snack bar for uh, the daytime to come and get, uh, you know, cheeseburgers and hot dogs, chicken nuggets, things of that nature. Okay guys, so we are now on the third terrace 
showing you back towards the resort. And unfortunately, we've got a ton of wind today and the beach is more reminiscent of Los Cabo style waves and riptide. Um, we found that the beach is not all that swimmable. There's a number of massive rocks just under the sand. So the first day uh, I was out and got swept off and kind of scraped up my ankle. So if you're coming here, if you're wanting to be uh, an ocean swimmer, you might consider a different resort because it is not terribly swimmable in this area. Best beach that I've been to, and I'm not a beach person, like you won't see me like jumping with the waves a lot, but I could not get out of the ocean. We went to the reef of Cocoa Beach. If you haven't checked that video out, the beach there was phenomenal. The water was phenomenal. I, would, I really wish I would have brought a floaty there because of the marina just blocks off the waves and you can just float. So down here, as you head down towards the beach, there are some baños. So it's convenient. You don't have to walk very far. There's also got some showers. You can wash some sand off and come back up from the beach. As with all resorts, all inclusive resorts in Mexico, the staff are extremely hard workers. Uh, looks like they're currently digging to try to re-upright a palapa that fell over due to the wind. Um, kind of looking a little more like a union job. There's one guy working and eight guys uh, watching right now, <laughs> but I will say they are These guys are really hard workers. attentive and hardworking people at this resort. Down beachfront, we have a couple more showers and there's uh, fairly nice chairs and even a uh, covered palapa with a bed. If you can get here early enough to get it, which Right now, if we wanted it, it looks like we could, but I don't think it's gonna be a great day to hit the beach, so we're planning on hitting the pool. So yeah, guys, this is what I was talking about. As you watch the waves roll out, there are some massive rocks that just hide under the uh, crashing wave line, and they are killer. You can get hurt really easily. All right, you want some relaxation? Get your massages. Uh, you're also gonna book, if you wanna use the gym, this is where you book at due to COVID regulations and capacity. You do have to make an appointment for the gym. That's very important, um, is to make your appointment here or at but the They spot. also have some free weights and things like that. I just, uh, there was a couple of women working out and I didn't want to uh, get them on camera doing their thing. All right, guys, so we are now at the adults only pool and adult bar the reef bar uh, looks like they're doing a yoga class this morning so for those of you that are into yoga they definitely have it i don't know if this is an every morning thing or just on specific days but it is available Over here, just off of the Coco Cafe, they've also got some uh, computers you can use. So if you uh, require getting on a computer and didn't bring uh, something to do that, they do have some. Yeah, so right down off of the lobby is Paramore. It is a French restaurant. It's downstairs. We've not eaten there. They've been extremely busy, had long waits. And then Moments Lobby Bar, which is uh, right here off of the lobby as you walk out onto the terrace overlooking the pools. Okay, guys, so as you come off of the lobby and head up the stairs, is an Asian restaurant. We also have not eaten here because uh, actually we've been off the resort a decent amount. Um, yesterday we went to Isla Mujeres, but yeah, so this is Spice. So I'm gonna take you up and show you the inside of Spice. Also has a really beautiful overlook here. Uh, relatively small, but overlooks the lagoon and the golf course. 
up towards the downtown area of Cancun. All right, back down on the main level off the lobby, heading towards uh, restaurant Carnival. And uh, you either go back that way down the stairs or down the elevator here. And uh, due to a power outage this morning, we're having to take these steps so you can see what it looks like. So we have Carnival International Cafe. Um, face masks are, have to be worn in the restaurants, including the buffet, whenever you get up from your table. And also provide a single glove, plastic glove, for you to use when you go up. Shut the door. So right inside the door, we've got a little mini bar stocked with some salt beer, Diet Coke. There's also bottled Coca-Cola, Mexican Coke, our favorite, and then water every day. They've got a coffee maker. Obviously, they give us plenty of water. Some glasses. Thank you, water guys. The closet area here, and our safe. Okay, so on into the entryway, we've got our sink. I apologize for the uh, light here, but uh, we had a power outage this morning, so we have currently have no power in the room other than uh, that light and the light in the closet. Which is fine. We've never had a power outage before, guys, so this is... No, and it's evidently affected a number of rooms, but uh, here's the bathtub and shower. It's got a nice, big... Uh, rainfall shower head and then a wand as we continue on through here um, we got a double bedroom um, some seems like regardless of what we book um, sometimes we get king sometimes we get double and we really don't mind having the two foals um, because we can go both kind of spread out a little bit more um, a nice big flat screen tv one and is for action, baby. <laughs> a couple of drawers here for your clothing. And then a center <coughs> um, nightstand along with outlets. And they also have USB, which is nice if you don't remember to bring your transformers for your phones and devices. A couple of nice chairs here. And then we are in 220, so we are actually below the lobby level. And... Uh, we have a walkout basically right to the second level pool and right outside there are a couple of vendors that have been set up every day selling uh, kind of some Mayan crafts and football helmets and just various different things. He's got some hats, some bags, uh, stuff like that. So I know that a lot of the other rooms on the upper levels do not have balconies. Um, in the standard package rooms, you have to do the privilege in order to get that or the preferred um, But yeah, so Not terribly big, but definitely uh, Well appointed nice room. We haven't had really any issues the air conditioning struggled struggled to keep up a couple of times um, But otherwise we've been pretty happy with it other than the door 
locking mechanism that we sometimes have issues with. Of course, it's working fine now, but it sticks occasionally and you have to toggle the deadbolt and toggle it back to get the latch to properly work. Um, and ever since the first night, not having any water, hot water, um, we have had very hot water. So uh, one thing to keep in mind, if you've never been to a resort in Mexico, their faucets, this is the hot water tap, and I can't tell if you can see that. Uh, it's got a C on it, and the cold water has, uh, I believe it's an F. So keep in mind, you're not gonna have an H for hot, you're gonna have a C for caliente. So if you don't have hot water, that, that was not our issue the first night, but if you don't have hot water, the left hand tap on both the sink and the shower is your hot, even though it says C. Good morning, friends. It's our last day. We are leaving here in about 20 minutes. We had an amazing trip. The hotel staff was incredibly attentive and good, um, like a lot of the AM resorts. Um, now Emerald's no exception. Uh, the hotel could use, you know, a little bit of sprucing up, but uh, what we've kind of caught rumors that maybe that was going to happen. It was going to be changing to something else. Um, our air condition in our room was leaking pretty bad over by the sink this morning, but you know, they all struggle to keep up with the uh, Caribbean heat here and humidity, but another amazing trip to Cancun and we are planning our next one. So we'll see you next time guys.